Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. We're here for the energy update from July 5th through to 11th. And my name is Heike Bartels. Maybe you know me from my feel good workout or my dance videos or my daily energy on Instagram and Facebook. So next week, again, we've got two topics. First one is the T-square, which we had last week actually, 27th, 1st and 3rd of July, it was exact. But these energies continue because the new moon that we've got on the 9th is exactly about the same topics and the same kind of energy quality, which is quite combative, combustible, militaristic, disciplined, harsh, so not very nice energies. But actually, as the new moon takes place in Cancer, that's a sign that's very much about um, find, nourishing yourself, finding a home within yourself and body, mind, soul, having this together and looking after yourself and finding out what is helpful as self-care tools, for example. So you, f you feel home within yourself. So on one side, we've got this very harsh energies. On the other side, we've got these homey, centered energy. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> or, of course, um, this energy of nourishing yourself is, of course, helpful um, to manage all this energy in our surrounding. So it's quite possible that with this new moon energy, and I'm now referring to this harsh quality, some topics or issues from last week, meaning this week when I'm now filming this, are coming up. So we got to deal with them again. Also, um, this new moon has a close aspect to Venus, which means that problems with finances and within relationships are quite likely, also separations. But on the other hand, there is another um, alignment. I'm not yet, I, I'm, I don't know which, which star it was because I'm not an astrologer. I'm trying to tune into the energies. And um, this helps us to go more into the direction of compromise and of um, relationships, yeah, of trying to go into partnerships. That was what I was looking for. So it's like we're trying to avoid separations, but not in the sense of avoiding them, but in the sense of doing something um, that's actually more connecting people, yeah, because we're now entering this new energy and that's more about establishing connections, about doing things together and not about um, trying to separate, trying to um, put people in a certain box, yeah? It's more about, okay, how can we do this together? How can we actually merge everything? How can we not say, no, this is not what we want? So, of course, we need to have, we need to discern and we need to have our own limits, but it's not so much about trying to um, separate some people from the others. It's really more about trying to find a way together. So that's what that is about. And then I would like to remind you that relationships are not only with people, but also with money and with our health. So Venus enhances all this. So with this not so nice aspect, um, issues around all these topics might come up. And as I was trying to say before the cure for all this is trying or to be willing to compromise to be willing to change to um to go into partnership rather than separation 
Of course, if you notice this is absolutely a no-go, this is a no-go. It's not, um, it doesn't mean to, um, to try to, to see everything through um, uh, pink glasses. Yeah, that's not what it's about. So, yeah, of course. Um, it's all only really more about to see the opportunities, which might be, might be unexpected in this energy and um, the, the possibilities to just think a little bit differently and find a solution in that way. Yeah, I hope that was, <laughs> that was clear about the new moon. And then we've got the Sirius Gateway and that's always um, an alignment that we've got each year when the Sun goes conjunct Sirius and that's always the first week of July. So. Um, as we know, Sirius has a very ancient history um, in Egypt um, as well as in, um, in the Greek mythology. And Sirius is actually considered our spiritual sun. So it helps to activate and shift us to higher levels of awareness. And it holds the vibration of freedom and we know we are in this very interesting square um, between Saturn and Uranus again and again and again and again and this is always about control versus freedom so again gateway to freedom and everything about spiritual awareness about waking up about um, really actually finding new levels of understanding, of awareness, of um, consciousness. So if you like to do, to use this energy, then maybe you would like to connect with your spirit guides. Just ask them, ask the universe, whoever you want, a question and ask for an answer that you understand. And actually, um, I know that like, with my guides, they are so creative. They use anything uh, like a big, um, um, what is it? A big ad on, on a wall of a house, for example, to give me an answer or at the bus station or car numbers or an ad um, that I'm uh, just... Um, seeing, for example, on the cover of a magazine, um, all these kind of things. People close to me, um, which, wh whom I don't know, talking about exactly that or saying that exact word, that exact phrase that I needed to hear. Um, just a song playing along, it's endless things. So it's like a multimedia event, you can call it. And of course, they are very patient. So. They like to repeat so if you get the same message over and over again or you always hear the same song within your ear yeah that's got something to tell you um, happened to me like a, a week for a week or two weeks I always kept listening to the same song within within and then I googled the entire words so I by knowing the exact words, the entire song, it made so much more sense. So um, if you keep hearing something again and again, go after it because it's worth it. There is a message for you. Okay, what else you can do, for example, automatic writing. If you have a question, write it, get a real big, <laughs> a big piece of paper, yeah? Like me here, this is my channeling my guides, asking them what's what's up <laughs> and where did I need to investigate. So um, write it down uh, as you like, as a capital, and then just write, just write. Don't think, just write. As I'm saying, get a big sheet of paper, get a pen you're comfortable with, that's important, because your, your writing might look slightly differently than normal. Maybe you write in bigger letters and weird. Mine is definitely weird. <laughs> so um, just be um, 
open yeah that's that's all it is because that's also what this gateway energies do they open us up for our intuition so that we can actually get connected with spirit guides with our higher self or with guardian angels so if you want any guidance if you have a question put it out there and see what happens and keep practicing because that's actually the key and um, the more you practice like me with my daily energies or with these energy updates when i started to do them regularly a year ago i was not as comfortable as i am now it's still not easy for me to put me out here but as i notice it's help it's helpful i just think about okay it's helpful <laughs> and just make make um yourself hiker to be um well so that people look want to look at you yeah and and don't think oh my god i can't bear this face so yeah trying to just um be be willing to do what's necessary what you feel is necessary and then just don't worry about the details everything else will fall into place as i know <laughs> i'm very very curious what comes out of this because i know something great will come out of this and also something great will come out of what we're going through at the moment we know this is a preparation for something that's going to be fantastic because we are creating it as a collective and if we know our personal power meaning we create reality with our thoughts and emotions and then we can create the world as we want it to and we must not be discouraged by what we see because that's just the old falling apart and that's actually part of the message of the masters because they say that the conflict in 3d is increasing now and we very much see that last saw that last week and see that this week very very much but we're given a break from i think mid-july so <laughs> look forward to that yeah and um the solution to all this conflict is our intuition that's the 5d response so stop looking at what falls apart or what falls off allow it to fall off it's a nat natural process it needs to go through and focus on the new ideas of what's sustainable of what gives you joy and that's the way and of course there are some questions for us also this week and the first thing is what is your relationship to conflict meaning do you like resolving problems do you feel somehow empowered or great if you can resolve conflict if you can be like some some conflict manager because you know we can be addicted to negative emotion and to stress and if you notice you like conflict then i would like to encourage you to look at that because it's very of course unhealthy stress is just stress for your entire body and long term you're heading for disease so maybe you would like to have a look at dr bruce lipton dr joe dispenza because they are really only two of i don't know how many investigating about that so you maybe get some information and then maybe decide to go the other way because the other way is the flow and looking at where or in which areas your life is in flow and how could you possibly grow this if it's not already everywhere or you're trying everywhere yeah um i just noticed lately that i am so grateful that there has been a big shift in my life i was definitely a conflict manager and i yeah i was like getting it from everywhere because everyone knew go for hike go to hike she knows the advice <laughs> yeah so hiker was the advisor for any kind of conflict whatever it was any topic no but that's not the way so it's like you 
have um, con you're getting it from everywhere from and then of course you've got it in your life because um, the un the universe understands very well this is what you want because you always help resolving conflict so the more you get the happier you are no <laughs> no it's not the interesting thing is now when you get to be the observer and the listener you see all these conflicts around you and you just think about where you are standing and what you want and then you just receive you just see it dissolving and you just see it going away and it's so fantastic because you didn't need to do anything you just needed to um, to give it a little bit of time and sometimes I'm talking about like five minutes so it's really so interesting and it's so relaxing and relieving it's really so much better so please have a look at that uh, write it down and see if there is any necessity to take action if not well great just keep going because you're well underway to a healthy happy life and as you know this is my vision and this is why i'm so grateful that you're here listening to me and yeah just hoping this was helpful as always thanking you very very much for your time your energy and for all these helping tools like subscribing subscribing sorry commenting liking sharing and sharing this vision of having more healthy happy people on this planet lots of love and thank you have a great week